Hi, here we are with the new smart version control for NEV 2013. Let's take a short look at that. First of all, we need to run development environment. New smart version control takes only two NEV objects, table and page. There are several fields. User ID is taken automatically from system. Repository server should be filled with server address. I press run SVC, enter password and see the main window. If I want to run SVC for different database, I should take exactly the same actions. Minimized SVC windows are hidden in the system tray. If I click on the icon, I see the list of running instances. I can hide or restore any of them. But if I try to run SVC twice for the same database, the error message appears. If for some needs I want to run several instances for the same database, I just enable the option Run multiple instances. Here I can see the main window of the smart version control. First of all, I choose the repository and branch. As I can see, all objects are highlighted in grey. It means that they exist in the database but were not added to the repository. I select some objects, press commit, input task code and command and press OK. Now the objects are added. I can see the highlighting is changed to black. After adding object, I can perform some modification. Adding new line to the documentation trigger would be enough. Now I press refresh and see that modified object becomes bold. It's the reason to commit changes to repository. Anytime when adding and committing objects, I need to specify the task code. If I open task list, I can see the objects related to the task I specified. If I press Add to Market, the objects from task become marked in the main window. If I press Mark Task Alone, any existing mark will be removed and the task objects will be marked alone. The most important thing is the history of the object. Here I can see all comments that were made for selected object with information about who, when and why did the change. I can select any two lines in history and compare them in the external merge tool. I can roll back the object to any previous version. Now, if I look at the object in NAV, our modification is gone. If I press refresh, the object becomes red and bold. It means that I have outdated and modified version, because I made rollback. To cancel rollback, I just press Get Latest Version. The object will be replaced with the latest version from the repository. Let's check NAV. Everything is OK. Next useful thing in history is annotation. Here I can see the whole object with information about who, when and why did the last change of each line of code. 
The changes from last commit are highlighted in red. I can compare any line with previous change and see the difference. What if some other developer made some changes and commit them to server? There is no problem. By pressing refresh I can see that object is outdated in my database. I want to know what exactly was changed therefore I press compare. Here I can see the difference between my object and the latest version from the repository. Looks like everything is ok, so I just get latest version from server. If I check any V, I see that modification from other developer now exists in my database as well. In Smart Version Control 2013, I can use good old marking functionality. Just press on the circle in the left column and object becomes marked. If I press Marked Only button, only marked objects appear. I can also use Ctrl plus F1 to mark several objects. Field filter exists as well. To apply it, I need to press on filter button and specify any V style filter for choosing field. The same for the table filter. If I need to find the object, I can press on Find button or just start typing some text. To make life a bit easier, there are hexagon buttons to mark objects with predefined conditions. Mark modified objects will mark all modified objects. Here we have only two. Mark outdated will do the same for outdated objects, but we don't have any outdated object in the database. Mark new objects will mark objects that were not added to the repository. In our case, almost all of the objects. If you suddenly watch this video up to this point, let's start clicking on left corner and see some movie. That's all, thank you for your attention!